Good evening, folks, and welcome to Cursing News, where we don't hold back and let the curses fly. I'm your host, Max Hillbilly, and today's a real fucking doozy, so let's dive right in our top story tonight. The NATO summit kicked off in Washington, D.C. today, marking 75 years of the alliance. President Biden opened the event with a pledge for more air defense support for Ukraine. Just another day of diplomatic bullshit and promises while Ukraine's cities keep getting shelled to pieces. How about some fucking action for a change, huh? Meanwhile, in Australia, Papua New Guinea's Petroleum Minister Jimmy Maladina was arrested for domestic violence in Sydney. This guy's out there representing his country and decides to pull some caveman shit. Absolute disgrace. And then he has the nerve to ask for privacy? You've got to be fucking kidding me over in Texas. Tropical Storm Beryl has been wreaking havoc after being downgraded from a hurricane. Sure, it's not a hurricane anymore, but try telling that to the folks whose homes are underwater. Climate change is a real bitch, and here we are, still acting like it's not happening. In sports, the Netherlands came back from behind to beat Turkey in the Euro 2024, setting up a semi-final clash with England. Just what we need. More nail-biting, heart-attack-inducing shit from these tournaments. Can't we just have a game that doesn't end in a near-death experience? And lastly, in Sydney, a luxury apartment complex opened up right next to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. This used to be a social housing block. Now it's posh condos for the rich while regular folks get fucking pushed out. Gentrification strikes again, making everything worse for the average Joe. That's all for tonight's cursing news. Remember, if it's not worth cursing about, it's not worth reporting. Stay fucking safe out there and we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same fucking channel. Good night, you wonderful fuckers.